Hi friends. Okay, so Monday um, morning, just before 11 a.m., and I just wanted to show you my current situation right now. Don't know if you can really see um, here. Let me actually. Okay, so my current situation right now, we have some books that I'm planning with, some planner supplies other curriculum that I'm using. My laptop is open because I just uploaded a video. Um, and I have some stuff over here. But this is what's going on right now. Okay. Oh, last night I tried to be proactive and I uh, made a list of essential things that have to get done today. Um, I gave myself like a PA day, <laughs> if that makes any sense, so that I can plan. Um, so I planned the week for this week. And I may go ahead and plan next week as well so that I kind of have a trajectory for the rest of the year because I ordered a new math textbook and I'm wanting to start in January with the new math curriculum that I ordered. So with that, I am kind of planning out the year as to where she kind of needs to be if she were at the end of kindergarten. Do you know what I mean? So I'm doing that. And I am hungry right now, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to either, I boiled some eggs earlier that I never ate, so I might eat that. Um, I've been up since about 8.30, no, 8. 8 or 8.30, I don't remember right now. And just trying to get my stuff together. I took a shower, so I'm kind of dressed for the day, because today we have prayer at our church, so I have to be dressed anyways for that so I took a shower earlier on and just you know confessions of a stay-at-home uh, wife and mom and homeschooler is that I don't always shower first thing in the morning sometimes I'll shower in the afternoon sometimes I'll shower in the evening depending on what's going on um, I probably would have showered this afternoon if um, I, I have somebody coming over to pick up something so I thought you know what I'm just gonna get right in the shower just in case this person wants to sit and talk for a little bit, I don't feel crazy. So I just showered, you know, did my little thing, um, and uh, that's it. So I showed yesterday that I bought something um, at the 75% off discount store that I love. And I showed this doodad right here. Ooh, so you can see it. Okay, so I'm using it to hold my hand soap and my dish soap. Um, before it was on like a mini cake stand but I was finding that there wasn't enough room on that cake stand so I replaced it with that and I put my cake stand inside here hopefully you can see this area makes me super happy so my cake stands in here with a candle on top um, that I got from Walmart for three dollars um, so it's there burning in the living room giving me motivation and I posted some stuff on Instagram but while I um, am, wait a minute, while I am planning um, for this week of homeschool, I'm listening to some music. So another surprise was that my husband also got me a bunch of credits for iTunes. So I was able to utilize those credits last night. Sorry, the lighting is horrendous up in here. And I ordered, I bought some CDs. Um, and I don't think I can even tell you the last time I bought a CD. Like, it has been so super, super long, but I actually just treated myself, and with those credits, I bought a, quite a few CDs, actually. I got, so far, I have six. So excited. So I've been listening to some newer music that I haven't heard, some newer gospel and Christian music because that's primarily what, what I listen to. Adele. Um, I love Adele. I think she has like, just an amazing voice. Um, and I don't really listen to her all the time, but I like her voice so much. And um, a couple of her songs are like one of my top favorite songs. So I, I downloaded two of her CDs, the 21 and 25. And just from first impressions, I like 21 better than 25. Um, I think that just some of her, most of her songs in there just sound amazing. So, and I downloaded Travis Green um, and uh, Anthony Brown. 
William Murphy and William McDowell. So I downloaded those six CDs between last night and this morning. Well, bought them, purchased them, so they're on my device. And if you didn't watch my um, other video, my husband surprised me with an early Christmas present. He was trying to wait till Christmas, but he couldn't wait. So he gave it to me yesterday. Um, he uh, he gave me um, a iPad mini. So, and also, okay, an iPad mini and also some iTunes credits can download and purchase some CDs. So that's where we're at today. So yep, that's it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna check in for us the, the day. I think I'm just gonna upload this and just keep it moving. We're almost in December, guys. We're almost in December. I'm so excited. I was telling my husband, here I go rambling. I was telling my husband, but I really think that Christmas is on OD this year. Now maybe I'm just noticing it now or I don't know. Like it's not just Christmas music in the stores. It's not just commercials or anything like that. It's not just that I'm noticing, but I'm noticing like even on Instagram and Facebook, people from way before Thanksgiving are decorating their houses and putting up their Christmas trees and going all out for Christmas this year. Maybe it was always like that and I didn't notice until I started doing that myself. Like my Christmas tree's been up before Thanksgiving and that's a first for um, our family. We always have it up after Thanksgiving, but this year we're like, we're getting it. So, um, you know, so I think it's just kind of OD. I don't know. Maybe that's normal. Tell me what you think. Do you guys put your Christmas tree up way before Thanksgiving or do you wait till Black Friday? Or have you noticed that it's been kind of OD lately? Like over the top Christmas? And I love it. I think it's great. Um, but usually I'm like, ah, oh, no Christmas music till after Thanksgiving. But this time I'm like, bring it on. Like, I don't, you know, I think it's weird. I think it's different. Okay. I will talk to you guys Do later. not Bye. mind my hair, y'all. How are you guys doing? Okay, so right now it's 5.10 on Monday and um, I'm happy to report I had a productive day. Doesn't it feel good to have a productive day, guys? Feels great. So I had a bunch of to-dos and I got everything done except for one and I actually got something, two things done unexpectedly um, that I'm actually quite thrilled. You know, subscribing to his ponies. Okay. So give me one second. And uh, then I'll watch your video. Okay. So um, the biggest thing that I got done unexpectedly is I we went out and took some pictures by the barn. Um, I wanted to take school pictures for Riley. Yeah, we're homeschooled. But I wanted to kind of... I take pictures of her all the time, but I really wanted to take a special picture of Riley um, indicating, you know, she's in kindergarten and how old she is and all that jazz. Um, anyways, so there she is. And uh, I put it up on Instagram, but also on Facebook because I just wanted to kind of memorialize the time. So I took some pictures of myself as well um, because it's a beautiful day outside. I took it a step further, y'all. And I went on a website called freeprints.com and you get your first hundred prints free. And I did this two years ago. I know I didn't do it last year. But what you do is you upload whatever picture you want to upload, crop it, edit it, whatever you need to do. It uploaded to freeprints.com and you get uh, your first hundred prints free, like I just said. And all you do is pay for shipping. So I actually... Uh, cropped some pictures together that were of Riley alone and just put a banner across it on my phone that says Merry Christmas 2016 and a cute little Christmas border. Very, very simple. Um, and she's in the picture holding a little Christmas sign in it. Just super simple. I only, only ordered 20 of them because I don't give out tons of cards. So what I did last year, and I'll do, watch behind you, baby. What I did last year... And what I'll do again um, this year is I have a bunch of Christmas cards that I bought on sale a couple years ago for like 25 cents at Michael's. I'll write a little little something something inside the card and insert the picture when it comes and just mail it off for Christmas as our little Christmas card. No, it's not a picture of all of us, which I do want to do at some point. It's a picture of Riley, but at least it's an updated picture of Riley. And it has a little, little mirror Christmas thing. And it only cost me $2.00. Um, 50 cents I think that was a shipping so it should be here um maybe in a week or so I'm not stressing about it because all I have to do is just put it in envelopes and just send it along I'm not stressing it. about it at all so I think I did vlog today I don't know I don't even know what I vlogged about today um but that was just unexpected okay. to 
to get that to do done, I guess. So it's 5.15 and we'll be going to church a little bit early because we have a meeting. So we'll I'm not doing Vlogmas this year. I um, wanted to, but Vlogtober, I didn't do well on that. But the thing is, is that I'm enjoying watching everyone else's vlog days or vlog vlogmas. I think it's amazing. I wish I can do it. I think I it looks don't great. think I can commit I... to it. Like I feel like I'm not going to be able to do it, especially coming up. We have a Christmas play that's coming up, and guys, she's gonna get a horse for me for the Christmas play, and then for me. Wild. Okay. See you later. Say bye.